Hello guys, KP Shamino here and in this guide I'm going to show you guys how you need to catch a lake trout. It's not that hard, it's just the normal that I'm going to show you guys because I don't have a lot of time but in two days I got like two weeks time and then I can test what trophy time is, maybe the unique time, I'm not sure. But this is a start, a very good start if you come over here, how you need to catch the lake trout. It's not really that hard because I only did it for a half hour, an hour, and I already got like a net, yeah, almost full. So, yeah, it's not complicated. So first of all, I want to show you guys uh, my position but that's a little bit silly because there is only one position in White Moose Lake Alberta but I will show you guys uh, for sure because I always do it so why do I need to change it so if you see there is only one perk in uh, in the new uh, map they added and that's this perk so you need to go over here so Go fishing and what you need to do is uh, you will see here is like a kind of dock and you just need to go here to the left over here all the way to the left and then in front of me you will see there is like a tree like a, like a tree that got another color than the other two trees that's the the, the spot that you can aim at I guess you can aim a little bit to here too, but yeah, it's a lot easier just aim to that tree. And what you need to do is the lake trout is like every trout, he's sitting on the bottom. So you don't need to get the, the lure really fast in. So be patient, so as always on the trout. And the other thing is, uh, he bites on the same than every trout. So I tested the shed. Uh, I'm now saying tested, but it was so easy. It was unbelievable. Almost every try, I got a fish, and it was all me, almost every time a lake trout. So the shed works. The medium 14G30 uh, Tiger Lemon works. Uh, the spinner Rainbow 14G30 works too. What you need to do is this lake is very deep, so it can take some time until your lure hit the bottom. And what you need to do for the lake trout is I got all the lake trout between 40 and 20 to 10 meters, so you don't need to cast that far. Only 40 meters is more than enough. So I'm just a little bit guessing. I think it's like this. So I'm going to throw in. And you guys will see what, what is happening. What I mean with that the lake is very deep. So now you can just go to get a beer. Uh, yeah, watch a movie. Uh, drink some more beer. Get now your third beer. And the lure isn't at the bottom at all. So it's still going down. Look how long it takes. Come on, lure, go down. That's that's how deep. And here it goes. So it takes some time until the lure goes down. But you need to be on the bottom. And I'm now at 48 meters. So that's really good. And now uh, the main problem is with deep water is that your speed on your reel needs to be very high. Otherwise, you don't going to get action on your lure. So I'm now at 3. And sometimes even with 3, my lure isn't going to move at all. So now you just need to reel in and stop. Because the trout is, yeah, if you guys saw my other movies, I always fish on trout like this because they are very cautious with biting. So don't do it too fast. Just take your time and you will get the trout in. Here we go again. So normally... Uh, around 40 to 20 meters is good. I'm now a little bit out the, the, the sweet spot. So, but you see already that, that my lure is doing strange stuff. Look, <laughs> I think that was maybe a little bite, but I'm not sure. So let's continue. So now I did uh, a reel in and my lure didn't move at all. I think that we are, therefore it's now the sweet spot. Look. Yeah, here we go. So 
what I tell you, it's like 40 meters and I was on 38, 37, bang, right away the lake trout. So it's not a complicated fish to catch, he bites really hard. And uh, yeah, it's a cool fish. I always uh, like trout, pike and trout are my favorite fish, so I'm very happy if they introduce some trout. And here you will see the lake trout. Uh, 4.2 kilograms, uh, 144 experience. So I will show you guys first my net. So here you see, and I'm, I'm going to show you guys first something very funny. So I came like one hour ago, I came to here. And my first throw was an unique furry trout. So that was my first throw right away and I was thinking what the fuck is the game trolling me or something. But yeah, it's it's funny story. You guys will see it here. Here is the unique uh, free trout. But now back to the lake trout. So as I already said, the spinner 14G30 works. The shed 7 centimeters work with the 14G302. Uh, the lake trout uh, here the medium spoon 14G30 works too, but I think if you guys uh, want a little bit faster to hit the bottom, I think it's possible that you can use a little bit heavier jig head, but I didn't test it, because it's so easy to catch this fish, so you can just throw at it, but I think if you get the spinner, the medium spoon and the shed, you're perfectly okay. So you will see uh, how, how much Lake trout I already got. I got a lot of fish. So I got a burbot, trophy yellow perch, an Atlantic, Atlantic salmon. So uh, yeah, a lot of fish. That's what I like at some spots. Okay, my setup. Uh, I'm still fishing with the Tora 290. The Exterminator 5500. I'm fishing at the moment with the Braid 0.18. And the Jighead 14G30. So, it's a little bit too heavy for this fish in my opinion, because it's only 4.2 kilograms, but that's what I'm using. So, that was my first movie from uh, Canada, Alberta. So, uh, yeah, the next couple of weeks I'm going to try to make on every species uh, a movie. It's going to take some time because I need to test a lot. But that was the first movie guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun and enjoy the new content. Bye bye.